Well, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, we we're having a little bit of fun. I, uh, I go by Randall, and uh, I understand there's another Randall here. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I actually made it here. I came all the way from uh, Birmingham, Detroit area. And uh, I said, it, I, I called in because I didn't know if I was going to quite hit the 1045 mark. And, uh, but I made it, Randall, so you didn't have to come up here and do this. So. <laughs> and, and I have to say, uh, my experience here touches uh, and goes, it goes very, very far back for me. I was one of the original Unity people when Unity Church was formed, and dear Dave Bell, uh, thank God for all the work that he did with that original Unity Church because it probably never would have been built without him. And when he left that and moved on and developed this center, uh, I had moved on in other areas of my life. But uh, hats off to Dave because many things would not have got done without his expertise and his loving compassion for many of us that came out of that experience of unity as he was developing this. And how I happen to be here today is because John Cosland, when he passed not too long ago, was a dear friend of mine and spent many, many Wednesday evenings reading Urantia with him and many of the dear followers in the Urantia book that we studied took me a whole year to even know what I was studying, how thick Urantia is. But um, I wanted to give you that brief introduction because many of you have not met me yet. You don't know how did this guy just show up here all of a sudden. And, uh, or if I was just a wandering minister that went to every church I could find. But, uh, uh, but I'm delighted because of the history that I share with many people here, including Bob. And if it wasn't for Bob, and, and uh, he made me feel so welcomed again after so many years. How many years, Bob? 20? It's many. Many years we hadn't seen each other, and I was just very warmly welcomed. So I thank every one of you that I can be here this morning. And with that, it kind of leads into the theme that, quite by osmosis, the reading that I put together for today is called the oneness of all that is the oneness of all that is and with that we'll start thank you spirit thank you spirit for inviting everybody here today bringing the hearts and minds of all those together both those that have so many years of experience and those that are brand new to this community. And we give thanks that each person brings gifts and talents, fears and concerns of meeting brand new people and even people who have known each other for so many years and being open to one another to reveal even the wholeness, the village, the community that is within each one of us the gifts that we bring is a community of gifts, as was so beautifully expressed by Pat and what she said today. So today <clears throat> is the oneness of all that is, the first Sunday of Advent. And hopefully you'll find this reading appropriate. This is the 21st century. The word is spoken. For one believes with the heart, and so is justified. And one confesses with the mouth, and is so is saved. So faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes through the word of Christ. And in Christ, we can see the light, and we speak in terms of the light, and what I'm going to share with you now is one thing that I found in preparing for this that I didn't even know existed, and then I'm going to share a scripture, so you're going to see a corollary here. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament show his handiwork. 
one prime creator of all that is, that most of us on earth address as God, spoke to me face to face from the bright snow white light light of oneness saying with much love we are one I am in you and you are in me yes you are in me and I am in you from scripture it reads this way from scripture prime creator said Holy Father, keep through thy own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are one, that they all may be one as thou, Father, art in me and I in you that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Therefore, the law given as light tonight, today, the law of the Lord is perfect and revives the soul. The testimony, as we've heard today from so many people, the testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to the innocent. Gives wisdom to the innocent. Dear innocent souls, gently listen. A truly steadfast, pure soul spoke named Gloria Windruff in her writings called Heavenly Letters, transmitted as God speaks directly to and through her. And in the particular Heavenly Letter that I'm sharing with you today, he said, me, that she said that God said this. Heaven is here to, re to reach every soul on earth, to reawaken our connection to God, our belief in ourselves, Pat, our awareness of our shared worthiness in God and to God and peace on earth. Remembering the song Let It Be by John Lennon, which so touched me today that I could hardly sing it. God is always bringing us closer to him. <clears throat> and now from the heavenly letter called A Cast of Thousands. Listen closely. And this is what was brought to Gloria, who wrote Heavenly Letters. The oneness, the oneness, the oneness of all that is. I am you, and you are I. From the beginning, you and I are one. The law of light of the Lord is perfect and revives the soul. This eternal truth is me and you. You cannot claim oneness. Let me say this again. You cannot claim oneness. You are oneness. Oneness is a pronoun with 
without antecedent. Oneness can only be one, therefore oneness has no example. Oneness is itself, one self. You are, you are, we are one. The sun, sun shines on in itself. The glory of God is walking in the world. The glory of God is walking in the world. The one self is. The one self is. You are the one self. Again, you are, we are the one self. Light is light, you are the light of the world, so let your light shine, children of light. So let your light shine, little one, let your light shine. For ye were sometimes in darkness, but now ye are light in the Lord. Walk, therefore, children of light.